What is up, everybody? Good morning. Good morning. I gotta open that visor. Oh, it's such a beautiful day today. But man, this past month has been wild, dude. First off, we got hit with a big old storm. Big, big storm. Uh, now, I, I live in Oklahoma, so tornadoes aren't really anything new. But we had a, we, it, surprisingly, it wasn't tornadoes. It was just a uh, really big thunderstorm. Some people recorded 120 mile an hour winds that came sweeping through our state. Dude, it ripped the fence down in my backyard, tore some tree branches out of my tree in my front yard. I actually got it extremely lucky because, man, there's some place. We might see some along the way. They've been cleaning up a good bit, but... Uh, I think it was like 177,000 Tulsa people without power for like a week. I think they were saying we haven't had a power outage like that since the ice storm of 2007, which I remember that ice storm. Major storm, dude. We, they're like, everything was shut down. I mean, it was almost like when COVID started, dude, you couldn't go anywhere and find anything. Everywhere was closed. The worst, it's like Oklahoma was trying to kill all of us because right when the, the storm hit and knocked everything out, we ended up getting into the, the hot, hot times of the year. And uh, like, it's, I think it's like 90 right now and I feel fucking great because the past few days have been like 109, 110 degrees. It's been real hot, man. I passed by one house and there was uh, somebody's tree had gotten completely uprooted and fell onto their neighbor's house. And I mean, it crushed the thing, dude. Like you could see, you could see into the attic and everything. It was crazy. And then we get hit with heat that you can't be outside in because you can't breathe. But we're gonna go out here. I'm kind of curious this uh, this spot out here that I do wheelies at, there's it's a really big just open field with a single tree standing in the middle of it. And uh, I don't know why that tree has become an icon to me and my friends, but I'm really hoping that the tree is fine. I think that's what we're gonna start off with today. I've got no plans today. I'm just happy to be out riding. It's been a minute. Dad life, getting used to it. I'm getting in the flow though. I think uh, I think I'm getting my rhythm. Is this the gas station that I've stopped at before? It's gotta be, right? Yeah, I've just never came in from this side over here. Damn. It's been a minute since I've pressed the 91 button. I don't know if I want to fill up all the way. Make it hard on myself to pull this hog up. It's been like a month. <laughs> Got two gallons. Oh, well. Apparently I had more than I thought because it's practically full now. Make sure that's tightened down. Let her rip, tater chip. Oh good, who dumped a bunch of water on the road? Oh. The hell are they doing? Oh, they're putting up traffic cones. Damn, I passed through there at the right time. I actually have two brand new tires. I, uh... <laughs> but they're not on the bike. <laughs> but today was such a good day, I couldn't not go out and ride. My rear tire is bald, but it's not showing cord, so I'll take it easy. Oh, bro, it's like riding a bicycle. Never forget. I know that this dead ends. I probably just need to turn around. Hand 
brake. It's there. That's good. brother so I'm not gonna lie I kind of may have forgotten sorry lady she don't look too happy I kind of have forgotten how to get to the road that I'm trying to get to I'm starting to notice a pattern when I don't go out and do wheelies for a while I don't feel rusty on the wheelies but like the muscle groups that it takes to kind of hold a wheelie uh, mainly like my throttle hand obviously because you're working the throttle very 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 particularly right here right here in the right 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 here it's uh I can feel it already burning just from that one stand up I got them old man dilapidated muscles so far I haven't really seen much destruction I saw that fence way back there that was downed but other than that, all this looks pretty good, actually. Filming this in 2.7K um, because I've had the GoPro Hero 7 for a while now, and I've always just kind of stuck to 1080, 60 frames, super view. No stabilization, no pro tune. Um, just kept it simple, you know? Uh, but I don't know. I didn't want to quite go full 4K. I don't think I have enough batteries for that. Um, also, I'd, that'd be a really huge file size. So I don't know if anything, it'll make the 1080 just look crispier, I guess. If anything, it should, oh, that's the road right there. <gasps> Ooh, that big tree's still standing too. I gotta turn around. I was talking, I missed my turn. Dude, I'm surprised. They're, oh, it did rip pieces off of that tree, though. Man. I can see one at the top. You see, like, the whole green tree, and then you see that little brown dead spot. At the top of that dead spot, there's a... You can see where it's... You can see where it's snapped off right there. Damn, so it did get this tree. Do you look at that big branch on the ground? No. My big tree... Yeah, and that one is completely snapped off. It's just hanging there. Oh, and that one's snapped off too right there. Dang, dude. Why am I taking off in third gear? Somebody explain that to me. See if I can hook with this bald ass tire out here. Oh, nope. <laughs> I did not. There we go. God dang. spot in the brake there I'll tell you what this will always be a thing for me dude it doesn't seem to matter how long I'm off of these things getting on a bike is just the best feeling in the world
damn dude and then somebody got to come out here and throw their trash on the corner of the road see all that i'm sure that's all stuff that had gotten fall like ripped out of trees and whatnot but you can see that ripped off at of the top of that tree up there there's one this is a big tree just completely it's not uprooted but it snapped off at the base dang All right, so we got we got a little bit of wind over here. Thank you all so much for watching. It means the world to me. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.